All right, in resetting the throttle position sensor on this Magneti Morelli Harley-Davidson fuel injection system, I started by disconnecting the cold idle motor wiring harness. Plugs in the back of the motor back here. That's unplugged. I backed out the cold idle screw, which is on this band right here. Maybe you can see it, here it is right here, just kind of popping out. So I back that out until it's not holding the butterflies open. Same thing with the warm idle screw down here, I back that out. Now the butterflies are completely closed on their own with no interference from either one of these idle screws. Next thing to do is put a pin in the right hand side wire of the throttle position sensor itself and I believe that's a gray wire with a violet stripe. Put a, just a regular pin, a sharp small pin in there that's metal so that we can connect our multimeter up and uh, have it touch that pin. And the multimeter is on. Let's turn the bike on. It's in neutral. We're not going to start it and we've already unplugged the cold idle motor so all we want to do is take a reading now. Turning the power on to the bike, the ignition is on, checking our connection here and at ground, 232, making sure that you can see the numbers, the numbers do change as you rotate, and I have overload, uh, as you rotate the throttle. So with it in its relaxed position and the multimeter on the wire, from the throttle position sensor. What we want is 0.275. So I'm gonna loosen up the set screws and we'll adjust this till it reads 275 with the throttle bodies uh, totally closed on their own. Connection again, there we go. 0.228, I've loosened up the set screws to the throttle position sensor and it's very sensitive. Rotating this back and forth. See the numbers going down. We want 0.275. And as you can see, it's a little bit of a trick to get it to, to hit that magic number and stay there. Very sensitive to set. And that's why this really should be left alone. Shouldn't uh Shouldn't ever have to loosen these set screws up and move this throttle position sensor around at all. Okay, after a little bit of trial and error, got it to settle at 275. So that's going to tell the engine uh, computer of the Magneti Morelli system that the throttle plates are fully closed. And depending on where the throttle is turned from this point on, the fuel injection system will be able to keep track of how far the throttle is open to know how much fuel to add to the air. So that's our base point. Now let's uh, work on the cold idle setting. Okay, I've still got the bike powered on. Still got the tester hooked to the right hand side wire of the three that go to the throttle position sensor. Make sure I get a good connection there. There we go, 0.275. Now, I'm going to turn the cold idle screw in until we've got 0 0.650. And that's what's recommended for a good starting point. And if you need to, you can rotate the throttle just a little bit. And that makes the screw easier to get to. I'll turn it in three or four turns because I backed it out quite a bit. Okay, let's try that. And look at that, we're at 0.645. We need 0 0.650. So let's keep going. It's gonna be a little difficult getting it. Now oh, there we go. That's pretty, that's even closer, but close enough, 0 0.651. And that's where the uh, recommended setting is for the cold idle screw. So we're done adjusting electronically. It's time to disconnect our tester and remove it from the bike 
Also remove the pin that we used to get the voltage from that uh, right hand side violet gray stripe throttle position sensor wire. Take the, taking the pin out. And we're also going to reconnect the cold idle motor. But uh, first we'll power down the bike. Now we'll connect it just by dropping it back into the socket and seating it firmly. There it goes, it clicked. It's in there all the way. It's also got a good dose of some uh, dielectric grease on it to keep the water and the moisture out. Okay, everything's clear of the bike. All the tools, wires from the tester and such. So let's go ahead and power it up in neutral. Engine light is on. Engine light just went out. Let's fire it up. As you can hear, the cold idle motor is keeping the idle in check. I turned the warm idle screw back in. I screwed it out. I turned it out in two turns. So I turned it back in two turns. So it should be right where I had it before as far as the warm idle goes. And again, warm idle screw is down here. Cold idle screw is in the back on this rotating band. They're both a uh, Allen X screw. And I believe it's a 2.5 millimeter wrench that fits those. Then it's just a matter of setting the warm idle screw so that once the bike warms up and the cold idle motor relaxes, it'll come to rest against the warm idle screw setting after the bike warms up. And it sounds like it's about warmed up already. time to take it for a test drive.